The United States government has raised concerns over a sudden rise in indiscriminate air and artillery strikes in Sudan, which have killed a large number of civilians. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said in a statement that, quote, the United States is alarmed by the recent increase of indiscriminate air and artillery strikes in Sudan, including in Khartoum, South Darfur, and South Kordofan state, which have resulted in high numbers of civilian casualties. We are particularly concerned with the reported Sudanese Armed Forces, SAF, September 10 year strike in southern Khartoum that killed at least 43 people. The August 23 shelling exchange between the SAF and Rapid Support Forces, RSF, that killed at least 27 people, most of them women and children, in Inyala and continued shelling in a number of areas, including with the use of barrel bombs and coats. Washington further accused the two warring parties of instigating unrelenting violence, which has led to killings and destructions across Sudan, while adding that the army and the RSF must comply with their obligations under international humanitarian law, including obligations related to the protection of civilians. The statement called on the warring parties to end the brutal conflict, saying that Sudanese people deserve freedom, peace and justice. According to local medics, over 3,000 civilians have been killed and others have been injured in conflict between the army and the paramilitary group since April. Several ceasefire agreements arranged by Saudi and U.S. mediators have failed to bring the country's hostilities to an end. Kamet Sadiq, CBTV. Can you bring me your wallet? Lagu udir sahib kaga. Ugu adigo mel kasta kubi hibila sha. Udir hana lagaga saudir mel walpa. Kama mulo akon kaga ikar kaga bring me your bank. Let's do the Gmanta or Kumare Kunhormari, Nolashada Dakale, Premier Wallet.